Hello and welcome back to Simon's Rants. I'm Simon and today we're doing another drunk review. So since today we're doing a short, I got a little drunk ahead of time. Um, because today we're going to be watching Tim Burton's Vincent. Vincent came out before all of his movies, it came out before his fame, so let's see who Tim Burton was before he was Tim Burton. I wonder what the rules are for bad luck uh, if it's an animated cat. Vincent Malloy is seven years old. He's always polite and does what he's told. For a boy his age, he's considerate and nice. But he wants to be just like Vincent Price. Vincent Price is my favorite human being to ever exist. He doesn't mind living with his sister, dog, and cats. Which one's the dog and which one's the sister? There he could reflect on the horrors he's invented. And wander dark hallways alone and tormented. The imagery is great. I gotta give it to Tim. When he was good, he was great, man. Vincent is nice when his aunt comes to see him, but imagines dipping her in wax for his wax museum. Somebody should take uh, Vincent to the old uh, psycho lab. While other kids read books like Go Jane Go, Vincent's favorite author is Edgar Allan Poe. So he's a basic bitch. Does he drink pumpkin spice too? His beautiful wife had been buried alive. dug out her grave to make sure she was dead, unaware that her grave was his mother's flower bed. I feel like this is almost like the dark side of Looney Tunes, if you know what I'm talking about. But just the dark side. It's almost like a Calvin and Hobbes comic where it's like he's Spaceman Spiff or something. You almost forget that it's stop motion with how clean and slick it is. This is some of the best stop motion I've ever seen. I'm not joking at all. Why would I joke about that? <laughs> yeah, bros, bitches. Dumb. While alone and insane, encased in his doom, Vincent's mother burst suddenly into the room. She said, if you want to, you can go out and play. It's sunny outside and a beautiful day. <laughs> the dry humor is on point. Vincent tried to talk, but he just couldn't speak. The years of isolation had made him quite weak. So he took out some paper and scrawled with a pen, I am possessed by this house and can never leave it again. I love this. This might be better than any movie Tim Burton has made. You're not possessed and you're not almost dead. These games that you play are all in your head. You're not Vincent Price, you're Vincent Malloy. You're not tormented or insane, you're just a young boy. You're seven years old and you are my son. I want you to get outside and have some real fun. Her anger now spent, she walked out through the hall. And while Vincent backed slowly against the wall, the room started to sway, to shiver and creak. His horrid insanity had reached its peak. He saw Abercrombie, his zombie slave, and heard his wife call from beyond the grave. She spoke from her coffin and made ghoulish demands, while through cracking walls reached skeleton hands. Every horror in his life that had crept through his dreams swept his mad laughter to terrified screams. To escape the madness, he reached for the door, but fell limp and lifeless down on the floor. His voice was soft and very slow as he quoted the raven from Edgar Allan Poe. And my soul from out that shadow that lies floating on the floor shall be lifted nevermore. That was fucking good. So, yeah, dude, Vincent, I think it was like a special feature on my Nightmare Before Christmas DVD or something. I forgot how good that was. I hadn't seen it in years. It's so good. It's probably better than any movie he ever directed and i know he didn't direct nightmare before christmas but it might be even better than that if not it's like 
just below it. It's it's very very good, and you can see like the spark of genius that he had, where he ended up making so many imaginative movies in the early parts of his career. It's a shame that like now I think everybody when they think of Tim Burton, they think of his new stuff like Alice in Wonderland or whatever. And it's so disappointing because he hasn't been this good in a while. And honestly, like I said, this might be the best thing he's ever done. Which is weird to say about a five minute short, but that was so good. You can understand why somebody might see that and go, hey, give this guy a budget and let him make a movie. I just, I wonder if we'll ever see this version of Tim Burton again because that was pure inspiration. So uh, I know this was short and I apologize for that, but I've been really busy because I've got something special planned for next weekend for Halloween. Hopefully I finished in time. It's going to be quite the effort to edit. So um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this. And if you did, please remember to like, share, and if you're new here, subscribe. Thanks guys. Bye. And happy Halloween. That sounded more like Santa Claus than it did anybody creepy. <laughs> Happy Halloween! <laughs> okay. No wonder my channel is dead. <laughs>